Wow, everybody. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'm Spencer. Joel's here. At the close is on. Let's start the show. Woo! A lot going on. Fast market. All right. It is time for pre-market prep at the close. Three consecutive highs opened, matched yesterday's low, and then once it took out there, that's all the breakout momentum traders needed. Good afternoon, Joel. Spencer Israel. How you doing today? I'm feeling a, a little bit richer, and I'm about to be a little bit more rich, actually. <laughs> $25. You just $25 richer, to be precise. Soon to be. Where are we? Are we at new all-time highs yet, Joel? No, we hit 37.75. That's your only roadblock. Actually, 38 and a quarter was your September 7th high. All-time high, that was 45.40 and a quarter, but that is just a little sneeze away. If we don't get it today, we'll get it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, zig to zag a little bit, but uh, once we uh, we stabilized over that close from yesterday at 35.28, we powered into the final hour of the session, and uh, we're still going. Uh, crude got close to 84, but closes under, is trading under 83, down 78 cents. And, whew, 82.64, this thing went down to 80.79. Woo, that, that is a volatile puppy. Uh, gold is in the red by 90 cents at 1784. Silver doing the same, down 23 and a half cents at 2421. Bitcoin just giving a little bit back from the big run it had down 3K at 63,620. Ethereum, that's down too. That's down only $13.75 at 4,121.2. All right. Um, and so in the lexicon of like crazy moves, like market moves, I always think about the day Tilray went from 150 to 300 to 150 in the same day. I think about the Long Island Ice Tea thing uh, or Long Blockchain thing when they changed their name. Um, today we'll, we'll we'll join those days. This DWAC I think DWAC. This yeah. will join. This will join those days as like the days that I never forget. Like like the day Deutsche Bank almost went to zero, and then today, like today, right? The, the, a day, a move that I will never forget. Uh, DWAC hit fifty two dollars today. Um, I'm sure we'll talk about this more tomorrow with Dennis because I, I know he traded. I I traded. I I made a measly. I made a whopping four dollars. I bought I bought at thirteen and I sold at seventeen. And I want to retire the phrase. Um, you like never cry about making money because I'm, I'm over here crying about my $4 profit. Um, because I feel like an idiot, but I, 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 this is truly unbelievable. It's not even a question of a company with no revenue. It's a question of a company with no, no product yet. So tell us what you did. Uh, You downloaded the app. I tried to. I went into the app store. First off, it took me a while to find it. I had to like search a few different things to even find it in the app store because I kept searching for the word truth. And I and it was all just like dumb truth or dare games. And I, I couldn't it took me like ten minutes to find the app, first of all. Um second second of all, I downloaded it and then I or no, I didn't even download it. I think I, I think it said like pre order. Do you want to pre order it? And I was like, All right, I don't even know what that means. So I pre ordered it and then like I don't know what happened. Like it's, I, I, I think it may be like, it hasn't launched yet. And when it goes into beta may, or, or when they, they're supposed to launch in Q1, supposedly, maybe it'll just show up on my phone one day. I have no idea. I, I, I have nothing on my phone to indicate that, that, that I, I pre-ordered the app this. So I have no idea. Anyway, um, this is truly, truly see what I did there. Truly, uh, a wild, wild day for not just for this though, like for just new tickers. Cause we, of course, we, like we had this, right? We also had a WeWork start trading today as we work. We had uh, Portillo, yeah. Portillo's hot IPO, PTLO. Today was just like a really big day for like new tickers, new stocks. Um, I'm never, I, this, this, this DWAC move really is one for the ages. 
Love yeah. it or hate it, it, it's one for the ages. 500 million shares are traded. I guess when you take out the pre-market high, that was, that was, Look, I mean. I, I, I remember I, this morning we were talking about that pre-market high and Dennis said actually an odd lot trade at 22. And I actually thought to myself, wow, that poor schmuck is never going to get his or her money back. Yeah, right. And, and meanwhile, Joel, on that top left chart, which is the 15-minute chart, how many – I so I, I sold this thing at the very first down red candle, the very first 15-minute red candle. That's where I sold. That's where I said I would sell, and that's where, I, that's where I sold. And this thing did not have a red candle for like four hours. Yeah. Like straight all through the whole morning. It Truly a remarkable move. Uh who knows yeah. where this thing's going to go tomorrow or in the future, but uh, man, the momentum traders got a hold of this one. F half a billion shares have traded. It is what it is. If you're good at trading these kind of things, go right ahead. I just, uh, I don't know. I just, I didn't, I didn't notice it until uh, I saw something about 31. I'm like, what? 31? But uh, it's quieted down now. Can't really give you too much uh, levels on it because there, there's only uh, this is the only day fifty. I uh, actually they hit fifty two, fifty one ninety two. Uh, all those buyers in the pre market um, or uh, are uh, are being rewarded, and uh, we'll just have to see what the app is. And you're sitting in the first quarter, so man, that thing can that thing could go a lot of different places between now and then. I, I, yeah, I mean, uh, who just said it in chat? Yeah, third wave. We were literally making jokes about it this morning. Well, jokes on us, uh, apparently. Because jokes on people that shorted it. I, God rest their soul, if they did. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't know what, what else to say about that. This really is something else. Um, All right, let's take a look at some of the uh, some of yeah, the other Port ones. Portillo, go look at PTLO. Ah, uh, ba ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. P Portillo's IPO today. The, yeah, the, the hottest, the, the, the hottest fast food Chicago fast food institution that there is. Not fast food. It's not quite fast food. It's. Have you ever what. been to Wiener's? Uh, well, it closed. There was a place in Chicago called the Wiener Circle. I don't you ever been they, to that one? I don't think they closed. Uh yeah, they did. When, when I was in Chicago a couple of weeks. Oh yeah, ago. I I'd been there. I, well, yeah, I didn't know. Or else they're doing some uh, major we uh, uh, remodeling. But, oh, that's, that uh, stinks. Well, there you go. I mean, those must be some pretty good hot dogs here. Uh, nice <laughs> move in this one. And we, it's just a hot day to own the new stuff, right? Let's go look, take a look at WeWork. Um, mm. Yeah, that, uh, ooh, that traded down and then up. Crazy, man. If you're taking, if you're trading these things, sell it on the way up and, Selling it on the way up. I thought really yeah, yeah. almost at a loss for words on these. And then as if all this weren't enough, like as we talked about a few minutes ago, we are going to, we are going to hit new all-time highs in the S P five hundred. Not really a question of if, it's really just a question of when. Uh maybe today, because we're like a point away on the spy and we're yeah, we're due for a closing high. All we have to do is close above 28 and uh, 45, 28. We're a good eight, nine handles above that right now. So uh, 40 and a quarter is the, um, uh, is was that high and it was September 3rd. So it took us a while, but uh, we're back up here, folks. And uh, let's check on the IWM uh, just to see how that's doing. That's moving. I mean, that's still trying to break out, still in the trading range. So we'll be keeping an eye on that WM. I think the Qs are doing pretty good as well. Yep, they took out yesterday's high. So uh, it's strong across the board. Uh, we neglected to mention Coco Vita, who is in the chat. Uh, Yoshi, ticker Coco, C O C O. This is a coconut water. This, I, I guess no one likes coconut water. So, oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. <laughs> coconut water. That's a company, huh? Interesting. Joel, uh, Joel, you, Joel you, you've never seen them? I guess maybe not, but like they, they're, they have them in the cafeteria at the office. Uh, they're, they're pretty popular. I mean, I've seen them around all over. I don't know how many people drink them, but like I, I've seen them all, like all around. Um, they're pretty, it's a pretty well known brand. I, the only brand of coconut water that I've heard of. So anyway, um, 
Oh, Easy Max is it'll trail like Dole. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. D ho Dole Banana. Is that even Maybe. still around? Yeah, yeah, it is. I think the yeah, it's still around. And yeah. like repeat uh Dole P- Did it go private and then it came back? Is that it? Uh, perhaps. I honestly yeah. don't I I knew it was a, a stock. I, I don't know about um anyway. Uh so yeah, just a just a strange day for 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 new new names today. Uh, also Joel um, a, a lot of app-based uh, companies have seen their stocks rip today, right? Uh, like Match and Bumble, because of this headline out of uh, I guess the, there was a ruling in the in the Apple Epic case, but also Google, or, uh, well, yeah, Google is undercutting uh, Apple uh, uh, as far as price, as far as, as, as when it comes to the cut that they take from purchases made from apps bought in their stores. So Google is going to take less money from comp- from purchase from in-app purchases on Android. Um, and so a- every like app based company saw their stocks rip today, match and bumble were kind of the two leaders. Cause that's, that's the whole business model there, but good day for, for all, all these stocks. Well, what do we got match blasted to a new all time high after a consolidation. So we'll just keep an eye on that all time closing high. And what were the the other stocks in this? Uh, uh, Bumble, BMBL, BMBL. That's yeah. the one where the girls get to. Uh, right, exactly. That's the, that's the one that I had zero success with. <laughs> yeah, so, well, getting back halfway of that move, we see stocks do that. Not quite yet today, but wow, this thing traded a lot, a lot higher after its IPO and on its way back up. Big yeah. big day. What's going on? Well, any any more word on this PayPal? Um, no, they're pounding PayPal. Yeah, this was so strange because there were there was nothing new out today that I could find, hmm. and yet it just got crushed off the open. PayPal did. Yeah, it did, and it's going lower. It took out the lows of the move. I, I guess they don't like you know very very um, uh, very expensive company and. They don't like they, you know, paying up for the for the valuation of it. So that that's not a good looking chart for PayPal. Of course, you know, if the if the deal is called off, you could get or it hasn't officially been on, but uh, it it depends. The reason I, I see the street is they were talking about seventy bucks, and this thing is not even sniffing that. So I don't know. I mean, Bloomberg reported it. We'll see what happens. Really, a quiet day. A lot of indecision here. Uh, did we get green? That's what I was looking at on this one. I figured people want to get it out at the mark from yesterday. 62.68. Ah, you didn't get there. Only 62.37 is the high. But when there's a deal on the table, hard to be short the stock. Yep. Uh, and then chat pointing out other app-based stocks. Roblox had a great day. Zynga had a good day. Basically, any company with an app that that's an app, and uh, where the app yeah. is the product, and. All those stocks were retired today. So, yeah, it was just a good Zynga, day for Zynga. Yeah, yeah, that's a good day for Zynga there. Yeah. Um, you know who also we didn't uh, mention today? Uh, Skittles is having a good day. Uh, that got a new uh, – it got a exact from uh, Amazon, AWS, mm-hmm. and uh, it opened up. And, boom, it even opened within yesterday's range, snuck to 1021. Just kind of pulling back, but that's a that's a nice move in uh, skills. I haven't seen that. That stock ended last year like around twenty some bucks. Went to forty six forty, then went all the way down to seven ninety three, and now it's on its way back up. So got uh, getting a get a little boost from changes in the C suite skills. S K L Z. And you know what I, also have a good day. Um, Netflix is having a uh, good day. I thought I that, thought I, I thought for sure you were going to say Tesla. Tesla I was, too. I was Tes- going to say Tesla. <laughs> uh, it uh, Netflix. They you know we talked about that uh, six twenty five fourteen. Never saw the close from yesterday, and uh, new all time high. So just one day past the report, sellers yesterday, nothing but buyers today. Uh, Tesla. We we're looking at this and. Man, it just it opened low, and once this thing got above the previous day's low, eight fifty seven thirty eight was ye- uh, the low from yesterday. You didn't even have a chance to card it up. Hits nine hundred on the kisser. Uh, new uh, all time high is nine double oh forty. So 
Um, we'll see if this will be a new old time classic, but just quietly, not so quietly. Tesla back. Is Raz in the office today? He must be. Uh, must I, be how how would I know? I'm not there. Oh, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> when are you going Which, back? Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday. Yeah, yeah, only one more day. I love the option to work from home at one day a week. I hate working from home every day. Um, I can't wait to go back. I'm very excited. So, right. yeah. So Tesla, uh, and then what else do we do we want to talk about? Um, IBM sort of. Oh, never, IBM. Never had a oh chance. my gosh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, those three lows uh, ended up to be resistance instead of support. Unbelievable. Yeah, pretty wild stuff. Pretty wild stuff. We're gonna get Snapchat after the close. We're also going to get. Oh. Where's my calendar? Twitter. You know, it. that's an interesting stock, JG. And um, hmm, I don't know. You know, could this, could this, I mean, it got hit yesterday a little bit. Could this, you know, could this be bad for Twitter? You know, the the new Trump platform competition, even though it's not a platform yet. Um, but we'll see. Got hit yesterday, pulled back off 68. I'm thinking about this one, but uh just holding, just get, like bad day yesterday, bad day to tell you to follow through on the downside for Twitter. Snapchat, kind of the big name today. Uh, Intel also and, and Chipotle. Those are kind of the big three. Those Snapchat, are the big ones? Snapchat, and, uh, yeah. Snapchat, what? Intel, Chipotle. Uh, Snapchat, just trying to get back half of that move. You know, it had the big move. We'll see how that uh, reacts after the close. And uh, what were the other two with earnings? I'm sorry. Intel and Chipotle. Intel, Intel, yeah. Intel. The, 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 the bar is it? the bar is low for Intel. Yeah, but so. they've raised that bar. What a rally in Intel! Fifty-two yeah. to fifty-six. Finally waking up, trying to get out of the doldrums. We'll see. They have not been doing uh, very well as of you know off the last earnings reports, uh, but we'll see after the close. Yep. Uh, what else is, is the chat watching? Joel, any thoughts on oh, PLD? PLD. Uh, now that's Whoa. a new one. Is it a, is it a thin one? Uh, no, I don't think so. Prologis. I, oh. I don't think it's that thin. No, I mean, it's what, what can you, did they, did they have earnings today or something? Two day move. Gap they, they got an upgrade from Goldman Sachs as well. Gold? Oh, they, Goldman, Goldman Sachs put them on their conviction buy list and gave it a price target of 180. Go yeah. real estate, go. Yeah, pro lodges. Uh, you know, nice move. You know, you're not gonna make money shorting uh, those moves by Goldman Sachs. You didn't quite get a gap fill. Uh, you took a, you made a new all time high by a good margin, and I think when you see that, that usually indicates higher prices. Uh, we're currently hit 45 at 95, uh, currently trading 44 54. Pretty good, um, you know, pretty good uh, volume in it, too. Do you have a target in PLD? I mean, if you got a target, you got to take your target. Uh, but uh, you know, take you out the new all time, you make a new all time high by that wide of a margin, you know, you don't got me short, it. Yeah. One, one thing you can't I, short anything. Wait, no, you can't. There's no, nothing to short. I, I guess just IBM, but it's a little bit, a little bit late for that. One thing I forgot to mention on the on the DWAC thing is this thing has had one, two, three, four, five trading halts today, and each time it came out of a halt, it like it took no heat whatsoever. Uh, it's been very interesting. Anyway, I mean, that's, that's one thing. I mean, that's when you're trading this. You know, the halts is what you know you got to worry about, and. Uh, you know, if you're prepared to sit through that, yeah, then sit yeah, it. It, I, it, it's scary. I've been stuck in a halt. It's terrifying. I'm it's, not. I, I I may not do technicals on this stock. I, that's fine. I, I, that's I may. Fine. I may. I may retire. There, there was, Joel, there is no technicals to do. There is no fundamentals. There is no technicals. All we can do is just sit here in silence and look at this. And wait for the app. Let's wait for wait. the app. Truth Social S and P's. Sniffed uh uh that uh that all time high, just a little you know, a little pull back from the thirty seven seventy five, but we still got ten minutes, or if not, they'll do it in the over um uh the overnight session. Mm-hmm. That's true. All right. Seven days in a row. This is the seventh day in a row we've been up. Now we had a seven day winning streak. Wait, pull, pull at, up the pull up the S and Ps or the spy or something. Get, get, uh, get to illustrate that. Yeah. Now we did have a seven day winning streak back in July here, late June, early July. 
Uh, but what was different about this winning streak here is it was all-time closing highs every day in a row. Now, this is only going to be for the all-time closing high, uh, only the second day in a row. So um, see if the market's got some more in the tank. Gene Santangelo, he's short spy. Against something else, I don't know what you're doing, James. You know, I mean, if you want to try and pick a top, then, you know, you have your out at 40 and a quarter, I guess. But, uh, boy, oh, boy, strong, looks strong going into the close. You know what we neglected to mention this morning? We talked about Crocs, but we failed to to mention that Crocs has peers. There are other shoe stocks out there, and all, every single one of them, without fail, <coughs> ripped off the open. Uh, Foot Locker, Crocs. Uh, shoe S H O O Steve Madden, which is um, what is Steve Madden again? It's uh, it's S- shoe S H O O. Oh, that no, no, Skechers S K X Skechers, right? Well, um, yeah, we do get some right and we do get some wrong, but yeah. the Crocs, Deck, I did okay. Th- thank you, Deck Deckers. Yeah, yeah. Th- I did okay on this one because I just couldn't get, I mean, who knows where it's gonna end up, but. Uh, I just couldn't get these two highs out of my mind this morning. Uh, they had two highs at uh, 50. I believe they're right around 153 and a quarter. And we were trading above that. You know, it wasn't a premium, but man, they went boom. Let's see where the, the pre-market high was just for, for you active traders out there. Let's see. I, it was, I, I know it made a new high from the pre-market high, uh, but when it turned, See, this is the pre-market action. Actually, that pre-market high was a darn good level. Uh, that was 153.75. Now, what were you thinking when it went to 155? Uh, 155 and a half. You weren't too happy, but not a bad look at sale. Couldn't quite get to the top of yesterday's range if you were looking for a gap fill. Missed it by 19 squirrely cents. Wow. Almost a gap fill on that one, but uh, Crocs uh, oh, on its way back up after just getting a little uh, overdone there on the open. You want to hear, 30... you hear, another, you want to hear another crazy thing? Uh, there was so much demand for the BITO, the Bitcoin Futures ETF, that they're having to already, it's been two days, three days, right? Today's the third day. Uh, they're already having to go out on the futures curve. And 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 sell because they they were they they were at capacity for for the front month contracts. They're having to go and buy longer term dated futures already. It's been three two days three days. There's just so much money piling into this thing, it's, and they have to they have to keep you know. All right. Money. Well, yeah. So, the value man, the Merck must be loving this. That volume going up in the futures contract. Well, they're getting they're down thirty eight hundred oh, oh, today. Gosh, that's a great idea, Joel. CME. That's, oh. that's a great idea. How is CME doing? Oh, oh, bumping on the door of old time. That's a really high. great idea that Joel just thought of. Why? Well, think you think about it. Let's think about this logically, okay? The Bitcoin Bitcoin futures is not was not the heaviest volume market, no. Uh, but you just had something come in that has to keep buying few Bitcoin futures contract, right? Um, in theory, that should be a boon to CME. Yeah. Yep, CME's been just, uh, it's been a, you know, you got back, you had the all time high here at, uh, this was back in 20, and uh, that was 222.86. You sniffed this level here, 221.82. This was back in June, and now you got a little double top here. So, you know, but on the verge of a breakout here, I mean, they obviously trade other products, but look at the, uh, let's just look at the Bitcoin futures, and I'm, I'm sure. That you got the uh, uh, the open interest going up with this too. I mean, this is uh, let's go to the daily here and look at how this volume is pumped up here. Boom, the volume fifteen thousand, fifteen thousand, fourteen thousand open interest going up too. So we'll see a little bit of pullback. We just hit thirty eight and a quarter. That is two ticks high of the September seventh high. We're going for that 40 and a quarter. I will lose $25 while being live with Spencer on I, at I, the close. I, I took some heat for giving Joel odds, but it and you're a champ now. It ended up being worth it. So, oh boy. Well, I have to, uh, I have to Venmo you. Okay. Or you, or you can use Zell. 
I don't need a sound. There is 4539, Spencer. Five minutes to go. It's almost a foregone conclusion. There's probably some big stops at 3540, you know, 3540 and a quarter. People like James Santangelo trying to pick a top in the market. But uh, here we go. Moments away from a new all-time high in the S&Ps. Okay, let's take some takers from the chat. Ford. Hey, hey, Ford. Ford. JP is running, uh, talking about Ford running into earnings next week. I haven't looked it, at Ford. Uh, that's not Big true. day looked, yesterday I'm, and then just the foul through today. Uh, boom, boom. It's big range filled the gap. I opened low and just caught a bid. Uh, I'm just really going to have to set. You got to start thinking about 17 bucks. I mean, at this point, uh, 1670 is a high today, but. You know, there's probably a boatload of size up there, but hey, you don't know, call it 1670 the high move, boom, just 17 bucks. You can look at it next target. 39 and a half prints, Spencer. Three ticks away from pay dirt on uh, the SP 500. And mate, we'll let you all forget all about your. Um, your uh, DWAC trade because it's pretty hard to forget there. about that one. And I, I, I will say, for whatever it's worth, uh, on the DWAC, I, I don't know how you interpret this, but we have consolidated in the last hour or so, so a uh, couple hours at least. But I, uh, so I think someone said there was like a big bet out there in one of the exchanges. Just be careful leaning on that. Yeah, that's true. That's a great point. Okay, what else did we get? Monster MNST. I feel like we talked about this moment yesterday, didn't we? MNST. No, I don't think we've talked about Monster Beverage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forty and a quarter, Spencer. Forty and a half. You got it, Spencer. There we go. There we go. Do into the close. Buyers into the close. Uh, Monster is it's trying to get away from the low of the move. Uh, I guess people aren't liking that monster beverage. I just I see all these hot. You got to get rid of this guy, this guy or this gal or this institution. They're just selling the daylights out of this, like in the eighty six handle. I'm looking at, well, today's low uh, or today's high came in up, um, lower than that. But just wait, put a, put an alert. You know, you get this thing over 86, close over 86, and it has a chance. If not, you just lean it on the low of the move here. We just did 41 and a quarter. Uh, two minutes left here. Get a, get a new old-time closing <laughs> high as well. Well, pain surgeon is commenting on my background. Uh, you know what, pain surgeon? I used to have a background. I had all. I, I used to make signs. Back, you know, when we were all working from home last year, um, but I'll. This is temporary. I'll be back in the office tomorrow. So, uh, I'm, well, I got to I got to You know what? When I did my old garage Monday, cleanup, Monday. I uh, I got um, I I got a I got a banner. If you want to put, if you want to put it up, from Benzinga. You know, yeah, I think I had an extra one here. You you you've been you've been hiding one. We only have like a half dozen. Shh! Don't tell Raz. All right, you you can come and get it if you want. Oh, I'm a lot over. Okay, that's good. To well, know. no, I'll just leave it on the front porch. <laughs> that's what I thought. 43 uh, even prints, folks. Buy it into the close. Uh, that's it. New all time closing high by over 14 handles. They love this market. Seven day rally. Uh, we'll see if we can make it eight tomorrow. Again, Snapchat, Intel, Chipotle after the close. Let's hop into the pro calendar, see what else we have here. Uh, ba ba ba. Pull up what's today's date? Today's the 21st. Uh, earnings and the 22nd. We have after the close today, besides those big three, uh, BJ's Whirlpool, oh, Boston Beer, Sam reports. Oh, man. Uh, Mattel reports tonight. Yeah, Sam, mm. that stock's still in the gutter. Yes, oh, it is. Mackerel. Hmm. Well, it's trying to get you a green candle for the month. That's about all I can say about Sam. Yeah. All right. Well, we're into the close. That's 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 it. Basically, we're 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 we're, we're done. There, there's the bell. There we go. We, all we, right, we, Spencer. We, good good job on the bed. Good job on the <sighs> DWAC, and uh, should be an interesting show tomorrow to oh, end the week. That that is for certain. Have a good one, Joel. Hey, real fast before I hop off here, I just want to do a quick crypto update. Um, take one last look at the heat nap before we go today. Uh, we had this reversal, uh, right in, in the middle of the day, Th this reversal, we were all green this morning. Then we reversed pretty much across the board. Um, the one more thing I'll add just real fast on 
the BITO, the Bitcoin Futures ETF, and there's going to be the second one, BT, uh, BTF, is going to is supposed to open for trade tomorrow. Is I, I didn't clarify this before, but when when you have a futures ETF that has to go further out on the futures curve, and right, and they have to sell the front month, and they have to go out and buy November, December, January. Those futures contracts are priced differently, and so what that potentially could do is increase the the the, the tracking error or the the divergence that BITO has with the price of Bitcoin. So what that's what we may see happening here is in the coming days, potentially, if BITO keeps, keeps on taking in more money, the fund will diverge from Bitcoin um, and it'll be weird. But we'll have to keep an eye on that. Anyway, here's a heat map for the day. Red mostly across the board. Solano in the green. Hey, I've got some of that. That's cool. Uh, so that's fun for me. But everything else in the red. But that's okay. Consolidation, that's what we want. We, we don't need rocket ships every day. We, we like rocket ship breather. Rocket ship breather, right? That's what today is. It was a breather. So as a reminder, you can get some free Bitcoin. All you have to do is go to the Voyager app, download it, fund your account with $100, use the offer code ZING, and they'll give you $50 for free. All right. Um, before I hop off, no money missed today, obviously, because Mitch is out. Before I hop off, what do we get after the close just now? Let's see who we got. Uh, I don't see anyone yet. Should, should we hang out for Snapchat? Is Snapchat worth hanging out for? I don't know if Snapchat's worth hanging out for. You know? I mean, they're interesting, but, like, not that interesting, right? All right. Final tally on DWAC. Is that what we're calling this thing now, DWAC? I have no idea. Final tally on DWAC. Where, where did we close? 46, 40. Come on now. 46 for uh 4579 or 46 4579 if this thing keeps going i don't know what to say this is an all-timer this is an all-timer all right everyone <laughs> i think we should just hop off for the day i don't even know intel just out they're raising their gross margin guidance. Hmm. Okay. That's fun. Hop into my SEC filing slash press release feed. I don't see Snapchat yet. Nah. Nah. I think we'll hop. We have a webinar coming up at 5 o'clock tonight. Benzinga, uh, Benzinga Training School webinar with... Um, uh, with Mark and uh, Rodrigo. So that'll be fun. Stay tuned for that. But this is going to be it for the day, I think, everyone. So, yeah, the Spencer stare. That's what I was doing. I was looking at the pro, man. All right. That's a wrap. Hit that like button for me, please. And thank you. Where are we at on the like front? We're at not enough. It's never enough. I need the constant validation. We're at... I'm not even in the YouTube right now. 40. Let's get to 100. That'd be cool, right? 100 likes, nice round number on a crazy day. Man, how hyped are you guys to hear from Dennis tomorrow? I'm excited. I cannot wait for Dennis to uh, make sense of this. I don't think he'll be able to do it. <laughs> all right. Everyone, have a good rest of your day. Please remember all the information from our show meant to be used as informational purposes, not for investing or trading advice. That's a wrap here. Have a good rest of your day and uh, stay green if you're trading and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow.